Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Every week, we are reminded to increase our taqwa towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are also called upon to heed His commandments and leave behind all that Allah has prohibited upon us. Allah is the one who determines our risk or other words, sustenance. And indeed, one of uh, the names of Allah is Ar-Razaq or the provider, or sometimes the sustainer. Allah provides sustenance to all of humankind, whether they are believers or not. And all of His creations as well is included in this whole universe of providence. As Allah says in Surah Hud, verse number 6, which ultimately means, and there is no creature on earth, but that upon Allah is its provisions, and He knows its place of dwelling and place of storage. All is in a clear register. What is risk or sustenance? Often the term risk is understood as material provisions in the form of money, food, and our jobs, and so on. However, risk can de be defined as anything that brings benefits or goodness to us. Thus, risk encompasses wealth, family ties, spirituality, our faith, our intellect, our health, and everything else in between that are beneficial to us and can help us fulfill our duties and obligations to serve and obey Allah and care for this earth. Therefore, let us reflect on a hadith narrated by Ibn Hibban where the Prophet said, a soul will not die until it gets all of the provisions that has been apportioned for it. This ultimately means that even the air that we breathe is a form of risk or sustenance from Allah with that, we must first begin to appreciate and understand the meaning of risk with the belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ultimate provider, the ultimate sustainer, and the one who in the end decides. Sometimes we take things for granted, underestimating the value of the bounties Allah has showered upon us without realizing how perfect Allah has created the environment to meet our needs. Now, just look at how plants play a role in producing the oxygen we breathe and the process of rainfall which provides water for us to drink and nourishes the crops which then becomes a source of food for both humans and animals alike. My dear brothers, this is not a coincidence. Rather, it is Allah's will and is the sustenance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, we need to be aware that risk does not come easily. We need to strive and work so hard to earn that risk. This is the second point that I would like to touch on today. Prophets are Allah's servants whose safety and well-being are very much guaranteed by Allah Azza And this includes their sustenance. But they never did slacken and were extremely hardworking in earning their keep and their livelihood. Now, this was mentioned by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, in a hadith narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu anth, who reported that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah did not send any prophet but to be shepherds. The companions asked, were you not a shepherd? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, yes, I used to look after the sheep of the people of Makkah for several years. Sahih Bukhari. A hard-working attitude and one that does not give up easily is closely linked to the guarantee of Allah's sustenance in the verse that was read earlier. 
whereby Allah's assurance has indirectly instilled confidence, love, and peace within oneself, even when the risk that one is hoping for has not arrived. We have often heard the experiences of others who have succeeded in various fields, be it in his studies, economically, in his social life, and so on. The similarities that exist are hard work and determinations and resilience, as well as hope. Based on this understanding, a person who does not have a job should never give up or sit back and do nothing. Instead, he should strive hard and continue to increase his efforts in finding a job. A person who already has a job but feels that he does not earn much should then strive to upgrade his skills and increase his knowledge in the field he's working in through available schemes that's available everywhere now that are offered by various government agencies and private organizations. This can help him to increase his income or enable him to find a better paying job that is suitable with his skills. Only those who diligently put in effort and do not give up will receive Allah's help. And this will not be achieved unless there is a sense of taqwa in a person and he has full confidence that Allah is the provider and that Allah will help us. Allah says in Surah Al-Talaq, verse 2 to 3, which means, and whoever fears Allah, he will make for him a way out and will provide for him from where he does not expect. And whoever relies upon Allah, then he is sufficient for him. Indeed, Allah will accomplish his purpose Allah has already set for everything a decreed extent. At the same time, what we receive as our risk should also be spent or used in a responsible manner where we take into consideration our needs and wants based on careful consideration. Hopefully, by understanding the true concept of risk as taught in Islam, we would be able to motivate ourselves to continue to strive hard and may we be blessed with Allah's bounties full of barakah for ourselves, our families and the entire Muslim Ummah. Amin, Amin Ya Rabbal Alameen.